what's up everybody? It's your boy Worst Seven Gamer, and guess what day it is, guys? It's hump day, that's right. And Lars is about to hump the junk out of this awakening quest right now. So let's get right into it. As you can already tell, I have his awakening item already done. So it's on to part number two. And let's take a look at what we gotta do. Ah, bountiful tidal caverns. Tidal temple, I meant. So I've already done four pieces of the tidal temple. So let's get to number five and six right here, guys. We can just sweep this right up. That was easy. And you know what that means, guys. Let's just go ahead, complete part number two, and enter part number three. While dealing a minimum of 150,000 damage. Damn, that's a whole lot of damage. Can he do it? Will he succeed? Find out in the next episode of Awakenings. Never mind, we are doing that right now. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's go ahead and do this thing right here, right now. So what team are we going to choose? So first things first, we don't want any guys that are going to deal too much damage because they'll destroy this uh, level too fast. You know what I'm saying? So we want guys that are going to do moderate damage so we can let Lars handle everything by himself so maybe heroes that will boost him up how about that how about we do Ling Ling ah perfect Ling Ling is going to boost up his attacks who else you know I'm gonna put my boy Enrique in there for some nice sleepy sleepy time uh Jasmine for the healy healy time and who else do I want to put in there maybe a tank yeah, maybe I'm thinking some kind of a tank, or... You know what? Embryo will do just fine. Let's put Embryo in there for that boost hasted speed attack. Let's go! I'll cut them all down. Yes, you freaking will, because that's what you do. Mr. Lars in charge of cutting down the tree man. He's the lawmaker, guys. Check out the blade in his hands. Holy crap. Don't die, Lars. I promise you. Mm. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Why isn't it keeping track of his damage? Is there a glitch? Oh, never mind. I didn't kind of see that, but I see it now. Damage dealt, and it's right in front. So 42,000 in stage number one. Keep going. Let's go. What's he going to do now? Oh, that was a mistake. I should have waited. 68,000. Uh, let's put some healing on him right now, guys. And let me do Ling Ling 2 for that nice little boost. Yeah, they could do it right now. Alright, we're still good, we're still good. We don't really need any healing anymore. 85,000. Oh crap, that might not be enough. Yikes. Okay, so first things first, let's put... Our plan is working. I don't think so, Lars. What are you talking about? Are we looking at the same battle or not? Alright, let's go. So we are shielded here. Come on, Lars, you can do this! Explosion! Yeah! Wow, that literally went from like one mission accomplished. Oh, hell yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah, we definitely hit it. All right, let's go back. Complete, guys. That's how you do it, man. All right, let's go ahead now and let's see this transformation. Woohoo! Yeah! What? This dude is a freaking beast. Oh my god, so that. The whole thing is one big old bodysuit. Whoa, I like this right here. So everything is a big bodysuit that he's wearing. He's got a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. Uh -oh. Wow, that is awesome, guys. Really, really awesome. Oh, I'm loving the new look by Lars here. Let's hope that this guy is just as good as he looks. But we will judge that in just a second here. Let's quickly take a look at what this ability is going to entail. Whirlwind of Death! Ha! Lars spins in place with his saw, momentarily stunning nearby enemies and dealing physical damage that ignore enemy armor. Nice! If he strikes enemies who have less than 50% health, their health will be continuously drained unless they are healed to the point that they are uh, they have more than 50% health. Alright, so any enemy 
that has 50% or less health, their health is going to keep draining by this ability here. That's pretty sweet, guys. Holy moly. So let's see here. Deals a base of 390, drains 2,500 health per second? Oh, what? Chances of stun and health drain increase with the ability level, All right? So must get this to a lot higher level here. Wait a minute. I'm stuck at level one. Is that a glitch or what? Uh, let me just refresh that. Let's see if it's a glitch that it's not going up. Still says level one. Hmm, how about that? All right. But either way, it's no big deal here, guys. So step number two. Let's enchant this item. All right. So here we are, guys. Let's go ahead. Let me enchant this as soon as I can. So I'm going to fast forward through this right now so you guys don't have to be bored. Okay. So I hope it don't take too long because I don't even think I got any blue items here. But let's just quickly look. I got one of these. One of these. Let's see if it's going to work. Yeah, definitely gonna take a long time. Probably gonna have to use up all of my blue items, that's for sure. Alright, two levels right there, 15 of those. Alright, that, that meaning it's good. 18, 20 of those. Give those, give those. Hmm. Just about 10 of those. A bunch of those, a bunch of those, a bunch of those, a bunch of those. Let's just keep going! Keep going! Alright. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. Yeah, bear with me. Bear with me. Alright, and let's do this. This is shit on me. How about I max this out? Holy 46. Alright boys, so that's it, that's done, finished off, nice little boost to his stats here, I'm liking that already, so on to part number 2, let's go ahead, and let's auto forge this guy, so at least we can give him some kind of a base stat here boost, this will help him out a little bit, in his quest to be the best lawnmower I meant, that has ever been, alright, what kind of a boost are we gonna get here, boy it's actually looking pretty good, he's already in the 20s and we're not even halfway there, Whoa, this is probably the best boost I've gotten in a long time. There we go, 27, I see. If you hit 30s on this basic one, you're pretty good to go, but it looks like I'm not going to hit 30s. Ah, so close. So 27 attack, 21 magic armor, and physical armor, 29. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. So I say let's go ahead, guys, test them out in some battles. Let's see what happens with our boy Lars here. All right, guys, here we are, little campaign battle. Let's see what this guy can do. Um, I guess what I'm really looking forward to is what happens to the heroes that actually lose 50% of their health. What's gonna happen to them? Alright, so that's... Is that the one that... It, I think that's the one right there, guys. It just spins and spins and spins, confuses them, ignores armor. Whoa, very nice. So that's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. But this is kind of difficult here because those turtles are immune when they go in their shell. So let's see here. Here we go. Oh my god! That is crazy. I can see that. Once they hit 50% health, watch their health, guys, go away now. Once they hit below 50%, their health just drains so quickly here. It's really, really sick. It's freaking sick. Lars, you are insane, dude. So resistance is actually pretty good with Lars, one. And then if he's able to actually do a good amount of damage to you know already damaged heroes that is really cool man i can definitely see this guy being usable a lot now but where where will it be usable i'm guessing most likely just probably the arenas i don't see him anywhere else to be honest here so let's go ahead explode all right the explosion is pretty good now what happens oh uh, oh uh. go kill them all there we go. That's the spinning. That's his ultimate, guys, right there. All right, so the ultimate... I, I mean, not the ultimate. That was the awakening where he spins in place. So, what I'm... I think... Oh, this is immune to physical. Boom! But that's not physical? That's a magic attack. Hmm. Very strange. So, here we go. Spins in place, and then that's what confuses them and actually, and actually drains, um, you know, their HP. So, all in all, pretty good. Hmm, do I think it's going to completely change Lars as a hero and all? I'm not sure. Don't really think so, though. To be honest, there he dies. Alright, let's go back now. Let's take a look. Final opinions, guys. Honest to final opinion here. Let me take a look and see what I really think about him. So, he didn't have any items there. He's only orange. So, he actually put up a pretty good fight. Um, you know, for not being maxed out. And for some reason, this is not going up. Why is it not going up? I don't know. Yeah, oh, level 2, now it's going up. Did I not have any points? Could be a glitch there. Either way, guys. <sighs> so, 
from what I can tell, Lars spins in place with his saw, and that, while he's spinning in place, which you saw, it, it was really quickly, it stuns, I love the stun, and it drains health, alright, if he strikes enemies who have less than the health will be continuously drained unless they are healed, so I didn't see them continually lose health, maybe because I was just at level 1 at the time, that could be the reason why, but if it only can, if it only drains their health while he's spinning, it's not that good. But if it continually to drain their health, even after he starts spinning from this ultimate, from this awakening ability, then I think that would be an awesome ability, all right? So a little bit more testing is done, and I'm going to upgrade him a little bit more here. It looks like I'm out of ability points. So once I upgrade him more, I will come back to you guys and let you know how he is. Truly, and you can check me out on my live streams and see how you know how much better this guy will be if I'm going to use him in the arenas or not. Right? So check me out on live streams. For now, I'm going to end this off. Let me know what you guys think about Awakened Lars here. It looks pretty cool, but only time will tell if he will be a super beast in the arena. All right. For now, I'm out of here, guys. I will catch you next time on another Awakening video. So then, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.